What's going on guys, what's going on today? We'll be taking a look at the Sakonic 470AB. Welcome back guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Sakonic 478D. And for those of you who don't know what the Sakonic 478D is, this is a, a light meter. I uh, did not know what a light meter was, so started doing some research online and decided that I may need to get one of these meters. So I was, uh, when I would have a job, I would go to the, to the venue if I could, you know, scout it out prior to actual shooting. And I would use the internal light meter from the actual camera. And then I was doing some research on why my exposure was coming out a little dark or why I was coming out too light and found out that the light meter inside your camera is measuring reflective light and not the actual light of the area. So I started looking into light meters and Sakonic is a brand that's, I would say it's all over YouTube. So I'm not gonna say it's probably the, the best in the industry. I know they have a lot of different versions and a lot of different variations of the, the light meter. I originally planned to get the four, seven, uh, sorry, the 858 DLU, I think it's, it's called but the the more features you add to the meter the the uh, serial number or nomenclature changes on the actual meter so i think some of them can control the lights there's a certain light brand that you can control with the actual light meter so for those of you who don't know what a light, a light meter is it has a lumosphere on the uh on the uh, top over here and what a lumosphere does it just basically measures light that's all it does uh, the Sakonic 478 one has one that it, it turns left, it turns right. So you don't have to really move the light meter around that much to get the actual uh, reading of the light. It also retracts back in. It's like flat, so it goes flat. So it gets a, an actual reading of an area that's pretty, it's pretty flat. It's a pretty flat surface. This particular meter, uh, it comes with a, a leather case doesn't come with any attachment, doesn't come with any batteries or anything like that. So it takes two AA batteries, but that's a small thing. It does come with uh, rubber co uh, covers. So all the ports and everything that's on the light meter is protected with a uh, rubber. It comes with like, uh, it has a remote port on the bottom here. Which you can use, I guess that's used to uh, tr actually trigger things. I, I don't use that. Uh, I use this light meter for one reason and that's to uh, Make sure I got pretty good exposure when I'm doing videos. I don't use it for photos, but you can. it can be used for photos. It has 10 different modes that you can set the light meter to. And it has, it has a USB port, a USB mini uh, port on the side of it here. Uh, that USB port can be used to upload what they call the DTS software. You can add, put software on your actual computer. And then from that software, you could actually load up custom profiles into the light meter itself. So like say you got a Canon camera, you can load up a Canon profile and set it for uh, certain situations. So that's that's pretty handy. Um, this light meter, it does come with a 2.5 inch color stream. I would tell you that the actual color on the stream is not that great. So they can say it's a color stream if they want, but it's, it's, it's not very good but it is color so like i said i use it for i use it on what they call the um semi mode and what the semi mode is it allows me to set the shutter speed of the camera that i'm shooting with the angle and the actual uh the, sh the, the shutter speed the camera angle and the actual um iso and then it'll give me the f-stop like the scene that we're here if we put the lumosphere back out and point the meter at the light directly at the camera, click the button, I'm shooting at an f2.0 here. So I have a light here to my, to my right and a light to my left. If I meter the, this light over here, I'm at a 2.0 on that light and on this light, I'm at a 2.0. So I'm pretty evenly lit across my, across my face. The meter does come with a ten, uh, I'm sorry, a one-year warranty. Um, it's a pretty plasticky case, uh, case, 
but you know, I don't think it just has to be too rugged, you know, just make sure you, you take, you know, pretty good care of it and I think it'll be all right. So it's pretty plastic. I did, I upgraded my case to a, it's like a, a neoprene case type feel and it has a, a zipper here and it has more padding inside this particular case. Got this case off of, of Amazon. It is a Sakonic case, I think, yeah. It's a Sakonic case. So, came off of Amazon, I think it's like $10, $15. I'll make sure I leave the link to that down in the, in the uh, description there. But for the most part, if you've never heard of one of these, you should pick one of these up. You don't have to get this particular brand. There's, there's many different uh, brands out there. There's some that's uh, it's like $20. I think this one came in at right around $350 or something like that, $340, $350. But it has really, really worked wonders for me. So if you're doing a lot of video or <clears throat> I can see where it can come in handy as far as uh, um, studio photography, I, I was told that um, landscapers, there's a certain profile that they could use when they're out shooting you know, landscape and they can set the aperture and it, it pretty much nails down your exposure for you. And then you may you may have to do a little tweaking in post, but not a whole lot like before. Before I had problems, I would set my exposure in the camera, you know, dead center or plus one, and either I would come out, you know, overexposed or underexposed. And, and sometime I could not fix it. So that was a major problem for me. So I went ahead and picked this up and it's been helping me out a lot. The last couple of videos I've been shooting with this uh, with the uh, 478 and uh, what I noticed is that my camera when I set it with this particular meter the meter on my camera is about one stop under exposure as far as you know the actual camera setting in comparison to the meter and I've been loving the image that has been coming out of the camera since I started using the actual light meter so this is a little just a, a quick video to let you guys know about this particular product it's a pretty good product you know if you do this as a hobby or you know you want to pick one up I've seen them as cheap as like twenty dollars not this particular model but I've seen some models some uh, analog model not the digital model that comes in around twenty to twenty dollars I've seen them a hundred dollars and I was even told that you could pick up one for your um, iPhone if you have an iPhone I think they have one that plugs right into the headphone jack so you know if you're not using a light meter you know something you really should consider using it just came just in handy for me so I really like it so all right guys that's a quick overview of my review of the Sakonic 478D that's L478D by Sakonic and it is a light meter so I'll leave a link down in the, in the Amazon in the uh, d description to where I, I purchased this from and if you think you might need one go ahead and purchase it all right, thank you. Until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video.